April of 1974, weather conditions across the southern and midwestern United States took a catastrophic turn. The resulting super outbreak left Alabama ravaged by tornadoes, several deemed F4s and F5s, and was the cause of an estimated 86 deaths in the state. It was considered by some the darkest night in North Alabama history. The deadliest tornadoes in Alabama affected Tanner, Jasper, Coleman, Guin, and Huntsville. Most of the small town of Tanner in Limestone County was destroyed when it was struck by two separate tornadoes within 30 minutes of each other. The first F5 tornado touched down near Mount Hope and was tracked through Mount Moriah and Moulton in Lawrence County and Hillsborough and Trinity in Morgan County. It turned into a large water spout as it crossed the Tennessee River into Limestone County, where it flattened a three-quarter mile of trees of the bank. Not long after, it slammed into Tanner before moving into Madison County, where Capshaw and Harvest were struck before the tornado suddenly dissipated. Northeast of Harvest, the tornado was recorded to have a peak width of 500 yards. The first tornado that hit Tanner swept away many homes and vehicles, shrubbery was debarked, and Lawson's trailer park sustained damage. However, the small town only had 30 minutes of reprieve before disaster struck again. While at rescue efforts were underway, a second F5 tornado formed along the north bank of the Tennessee River and followed much of the same path as the previous tornado through Limestone and Madison counties going so far as Hazel Green and eventually crossing into Tennessee. In Tanner, many structures that had survived the first tornado were destroyed by the second. Around Tanner, over 1,000 homes, 200 mobile homes, and numerous outbuildings, vehicles, power lines, and trees were completely demolished or heavily damaged by the two tornadoes. There were 44 fatalities, and over 450 injuries. While Tanner had its short-lived respite, another supercell had crossed the Mississippi-Alabama state line, eventually producing a tornado that touched down in Pickens County near Aliceville. The tornado gained strength and intensity as it moved into Tuscaloosa County and later into Walker County, where it directly hit downtown Jasper, damaging buildings and storefronts and downing power lines and trees. The Walker County Courthouse, the library, and the First Methodist Church sustained damage, and a newly built fire station was leveled. The tornado continued over Lewis Smith Lake before causing damage in and dissipating northeast of Coleman. The F4 tornado caused three fatalities and nearly 180 injuries. Another tornado that formed near the Mississippi-Alabama state line was the longest duration F5 tornado recorded in the super outbreak. The tornado became extremely violent as it had approached and then devastated Guin. It obliterated the Guin mobile home plant, leaving only mangled steel beams and a foundation partially clean of debris. Downtown Guin was heavily damaged with many brick businesses and dis churches destroyed. Residential areas had homes swept away, a complete wipeout in some areas. The tornado continued on to the small community of Twin, leaving destruction in its path, and eventually crossing into Winston County, striking Del Mar. It reportedly grew up to a mile wide as it entered William B. Bankhead National Forest, where so many trees were snapped that the tornado path was visible via satellite. The tornado traveled over 79 miles to just south of Basham in Morgan County before dissipating. The storm left 28 dead and 272 people injured. The same supercell that produced the Guin tornado produced an F3 tornado that landed south of Decatur in Hartzell. The tornado moves northeast impacting Redstone Arsenal, where several buildings were destroyed or damaged. 
the Nuclear Weapons Training School's Publication Center was destroyed and portions of classified documents scattered. Many were returned from Tennessee and Alabama farmers for months afterward. Throughout Huntsville, many businesses took damage and Glennell's trailer park was destroyed. Homes were destroyed up on Mount Saino Mountain before the tornado dissipated near High Top. There were two fatalities and seven injuries. Witnesses to the tornado reported electrical phenomenon such as luminous clouds, ball lightning, multicolored flashes, and glowing areas in the sky when the storm moved through. When the storms cleared, over 300 people had died nationwide and thousands were injured. In retrospect, the super outbreak signaled an impending turn in detection and warning technology, but it would be several more years before that technology would be implemented.